He's a polarizing and controversial figure within North Dakota politics, but there's no doubt that he champions many issues held by a certain percentage of the electorate. KX News as Josh Many sat down with independent candidate for Secretary of State, Charles Tuttle. Joining us now, independent candidate for Secretary of State, Charles Tuttle. Charles, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Josh. Now, Charles, you describe yourself as a Trump Republican. And recently you were endorsed by Mike Lindell's colleague, uh, a well-known proponent of the so-called big lie. That was Dr. Frank. Actually, both of them have endorsed me. Both of them. Okay. Mike so Lindell Mike has Lindell endorsed, has endorsed me. So, you know, most people know to some degree what happened on the national level. Uh, the, the case, Trump's team case, was, was thrown out by, you know, federal and state courts. For standing. For standing. But... Bringing it closer to North Dakota, what in 2020 was it about the election here in our state, which voted for Trump, which heavily voted red, that you thought there was some issue with it, that there was election well, integrity? Well, we actually filed a lawsuit, okay, I did, against the governor and the secretary of state. The governor made executive orders that actually interfered with the election process. It, went, it overrode what the legislature had only, has only the authority to do, like closing down the polling station. In my, my county, Ward County, we did not have a place to in-person vote on election day in the primary. That's, that was completely illegal. Even the governor in a lawsuit, he actually, on the day of our hearing, he rescinded his order. They came in and said they may have overreached their authority, but... It's rescinded, so it's moot. So I said to the judge, I said, okay, so they robbed the bank. They kept the money. And because they promised they won't do it again, it's okay. Real quick here, switching gears. So early in the year, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation took 15 time cards from your house. Mm -hmm. They executed a search sure. warrant, uh, which was regarding the term limits measure, mm -hmm. which was turned down by Secretary of State Al Jager, but then your group, DC-based group, uh, which is propping up your camp campaign, mm -hmm. U.S. term limit, spent 275000 suing the state. Mm -hmm. You won. It's back on the ballot. Five to zero we won. And it's very popular. But what is going on into the investigation by BCI? Well, first of all, what they're accusing me of is a misdemeanor. Why would you send four BCI agents using tax resources into somebody's house for a misdemeanor? And then on the, on the, on the, on the actual warrant, it has two of Burgum's surrogates, Pat Finken and Jamal Omar. And it looks as though they were tape recording our petition gatherers at the state fair where we kicked off the campaign. So they preempted a method that they thought would garner them the ability to remove it from the ballot. Were you giving petition gatherers bonuses? No. We actually uh, paid them on a scale. Well, let's go to the bonus. Let's suppose we were, okay? It says in the Constitution that you can't pass any laws that hinder or restrict the initiative process. If you're going to say, I don't know of any business out there that's against the law to pay bonuses, except maybe the mafia for hitmen, but, I mean... To, to make a law that's restrictive is unconstitutional. It says right in the Constitution. You can only make laws that will enhance the initiative process. And we've got all kinds of laws that, that the, the legislature, obviously the legislature right now is violating the law. There's a group of them. I have their email. Um, Mr. LaFleur said there's a group of House members organizing together to get 15 groups. They've got 15 groups, uh, ND Cell, all of these groups. If they are taxpayer funded. A House member, if he uses his position as House member, that's owned by the people. It violates 16.1 corrupt practices. Okay. They're breaking the law by Charles doing that. Charles Suttle, independent candidate for Secretary of State. Thank you very much for your All time. Right. All right. Thank you. We will have Republican candidate for Secretary of State Michael Howe discussing his matters on Friday evening. Vote.